another newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in this video, we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can just skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. Just two days until Gen Con, and we couldn't be more excited to be there. We're already headed to Indianapolis today, and we'll begin setting up the booth on Wednesday. Our booth number is 2603 in the Exhibitor Hall, and we can't wait to have you drop by for a visit. As a reminder, we'll be demoing Super Fantasy Brawl, Enchanters, Darkest Dungeon the Board Game, Steam Watchers, Six Seeds the Board Game, and Monster Apocalypse. Our booth staff have all been vaccinated, and we will be following Gen Kine's guidelines for safety, so please feel free to drop in. This will also be the first time we'll be selling product at our booth. You'll be able to pick up copies of Reichbusters, Project Vril, Solomon Kane, and Enchanters, along with some accessories too. Now I won't be scheduling any extra videos for myself this week, but stay tuned after Gen Con. Last week's videos weren't as watched as the ones before, but we're going to be playing with times and days to see what works best in the future. Now, Today we have updates for Time of Legends, Joan of Arc, Steam Watchers, Hell of the Last Saga, and Six Siege, the board game, so let's get to it. For Joan of Arc today, we received word that those containers headed for North America are being loaded and have an estimated time of departure by September 18th through the 25th. And of course, that's an estimate. Now the containers for VR distribution have finished being loaded and are awaiting departure. The factory has also given us an estimated pickup date of September 18th for VFI Asia, but that is subject to change, and we'll usually know more accurately 48 hours ahead of their being picked up, and we will let everyone know as soon as we can concerning those. Preparations for shipment to the other regions is still ongoing, and we will let everyone know when new information becomes available. For Steam Watchers this week, for our UK backers, we received confirmation that the product has made it through customs and is awaiting pickup by Spiral Galaxy. Now, we still don't have any confirmation about the 40-foot container's arrival in North America, but we will be sure to pass along more information on it as soon as we're able. Now, we've made a small clarification on the Steam Watchers FAQ about how the Western Alliance works, and it should be updated by Wednesday, so be sure to check that out. In the meantime, while shipments are ongoing, the team prepared a free goodie for you all. Here is a printable achievement sheet that you can fill out while playing the game. We figured Steam Watchers lends itself quite well to these kinds of achievements and that toying around with different game states would be quite fun. So check out our website for that document and please tell us about all the crazy shenanigans you've been scheming in Europa. We love hearing from you. For Hell the Last Saga today, we wanted to comment on some of the feedback that followed our last update. First, thank you for your encouragement following the latest news update, and we apologize for the disappointment some of you are experiencing at the announcement of the production delays. We are doing our best to simply ensure a quality product, and even though I think we were clear in our last update concerning this issue, please be reminded that we are not going to ask for extra money for delivery from any of you. <laughs> now, many of you have questions about the translations to the extent of asking us about the identity of the chosen translators. Now, we don't disclose the identity of translators while the game is being translated. They will be named in the credits, but for reasons like competition within the industry and flexibility in case of non-compliance, we will discreetly reserve their names. Those whose names were mentioned during the Kickstarter campaign are the ones who translated the items presented during the campaign. Just be sure that we do not take this process lightly and that every translation will be done from French, the language it was written in. Each Hell Song represents between 15,000 and 20,000 words which brings us to a saga of at least 230,000 words. For comparison, the first wave of Solomon Cain contains 171,000 words, and the second wave contains 225,000 words. 
Concerning development, the development team and writers are finishing up the last of the scenarios and we are receiving the last of the orders for the artwork to be included. Among them are the buildings that will be erected by the heroes in their camp. Our illustrator of atmospheric images, Georges Klarenko, has sent us his vision of the seven constructs. These ambient pictures closely follow the 3D rendering shown during the campaign. They will appear on mats that will remind players of the powers of each of these buildings. But that's all for today, so we'll see you next time. For Six Siege today, we simply wanted to announce that we have our next article up and ready for your perusal on our website. This article focuses on the attacking operators and introduces some new delineations for them like tank and runner, and then gives some suggestions from the developers on how to construct your team of five for each game. It concludes with giving one single tip. Be creative, but don't forget you should create a versatile team. You'll find the article on our website at mythicgames.net, so enjoy. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So please go ahead and tune in if you want to see if he'll spoil anything. But even if he doesn't spoil anything, it's always a good time to just hang out and talk with Leo. So for those of you attending Gen Con, I look forward to seeing you and being able to hang out a bit. But that's it for this week. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.